So it is finally time for Promo Climax Round 3 and what may be the Burnham Blue Blazers' last ever promo in this tournament. And you know, you know it was going to happen. Slick Rick made the call and the boys of Evolution are going to ride once more. Now before I get to my opponent, <laughs> my opponent in Round 3, I thought maybe I'd take this opportunity when I've got the boys of Evolution by my side take this opportunity to give a little mention to those other participants, let's say, in this tournament who I've maybe not had a chance to address and also have tried to spit in the Burnham Blue Blazers' milk. Tony Kirkendall. Tony... Oh, shit, I say. Mate, stay away from that microphone. Michael Walking, another one in this tournament. The podcast machine. The most fucking contradictive person in the land. Michael, did you think that was good? Yeah, it was brilliant. Oh, well, Mike, I thought that was rubbish. No, I agree as well. Make a decision, man, and stick with it. Who else we got? Robert Davis. Robert Davis. Right. You do promos in your pants, and Slick Rick, he likes what you, he likes what he sees. So, my boy, you may get a call to join the fucking boys of the evolution and take over SmackDown. Even though, like, we're on SmackDown 1000, but we've not ever been on. Shh. Teddy P. De Niro. Dude, whatever you're smoking, hit a brother up. Evolution. They want to taste that good stuff. Carry on just lying down and doing what you're doing. Evolution, we like you. You could be our own. Fuck it. No, 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 no. No, uh, 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 uh. And who else do we have in this tournament? A man that feels he can address... The Burnham Blue Blazer calls himself the greatest podcaster in the world. This is one of me, I'd like being Costello. The man who tags in half of fucking the world in his post and gets like uh, not that many fucking views. That is Block B. Block B of Promo Climax, which is why I'm talking to you right now. It's round three time, as I said, and my opponent. Is the butcher, the butcher, the biggest heel in the business? Um, right. You're boring. Yeah, you, you're boring. It makes you you look. You make yourself look like an idiot. Wait, let's say somebody will post something somewhere on the internet because the internet really offends the butcher. Remember that, people. It really offends the butcher. And if you don't agree with him, he will let you know. So something will go on there. The greatest matches ever. If the butcher doesn't like what you've put. <laughs> you're in for a good time so it is round three it's me and you butcher we go back a long way and this is not the burnham blue blazer talking to the butcher this is david burnham talking to david gillam promo round three it's gonna be a war it's gonna be a war and you just remember owen was never a nugget RWT, Max Wrestling Podcast, Promo Climax Week 9. Bar has been set by two people, possibly three. The third I'm still on the fence with. Emir Blackbane Costello, Robert Davis. You've set the standard. And that comes from the man that believes he's the greatest. Moni, I think you're riding a wave. That doesn't mean that I don't like you. Much love, my darling. Much love. But promo climax week nine. Dave Burnham versus... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. The blue blazer, Dave Burnham. You know? It's funny. It's funny, it's funny. Because, you know, I, I know how much Owen Hart means to you, Burnham. I know how much he means to you. Hell, I love the guy too. I love the guy too. But you see, 
me and you don't share the same amount of love for your love of well your podcast says it all our era the ruthless aggression era you see I think the ruthless aggression gave us a lot of good stuff but mostly bad you know gay tag teams you know shitty wrestlers one of which has just added a six move of doom <laughs> you know well, we, we definitely don't share the same opinion at times but we know each other well you know the length I will go to secure this. You know, I will not be shafted again. Max Wrestling, Dazzy Dangerously. I will not be shafted again. No, 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 no. You see, this man doesn't forget. This man doesn't forget. And many, many, believe it or not, I'm going to let you in on a secret. I never forgave for what you did. You didn't ask me. You used your strongest man on a battlefield. And you abused his goodwill. You abused his goodwill. Now you see, Dave Burnham may state that Owen wasn't a nugget. Quite frankly, I couldn't give a fuck. Dave Burnham, I'm going to drop you quicker than Owen fell. And now I'm going to move on to Max Wrestling. Don't think for a second. Don't think for a second that I forgot you. This promo climax was my idea. A way to boost Max Wrestling's ratings. And then RWT came on board. Great, great minded people. Think alike people. You see. Securing glory. Is all that. We need. That's it. That's it. You know, I like a man. Like a man once said, one of my idols. I am willing to lie, cheat, and steal. You see, the lies that I would be willing to tell, they're not necessarily lies. You see, I always tell the truth, even when I lie. As far as cheating, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And stealing, I always steal the show. You know why? Because I can. Week nine. See you soon, Burnham. See you soon. Last time we'll see you. This will be the last time we see you. You know, NWO had a hell of a ride. How many times would you be willing to tear your quad? I only need to tear it once. You're done. Goodbye. Mwah. Bang!